What's this movie worth staying up for? No. Just saying, pushed it a better. <laughs> I know it's not exactly the same plot, but it's close enough. So Firestarter is this movie about a girl who has the ability to blow things up with her mind. And so because of this ability, she's dangerous and she's being hidden from this secret organization. Her parents are hiding her, trying to keep her safe because, well, they don't want her to be experimented on. But, well, you know, she can't really control the power, so it's easier said than done. That's pretty much the gist of this movie, so getting into the review, don't watch this movie. There, review's done. When I watched the trailer for this movie, I actually, like, the majority of the trailer had me thinking, oh, this might actually be something worthwhile. But then the trailer ended on the, the big line being, liar liar pants on fire and that's when i lost all faith and yeah uh not a single second of this movie brought that faith back because firestarter is just hot garbage i didn't even mean to do a hot pun it just came out and here's the thing there are parts of this movie where i started to kind of get into it mostly the opening credits whenever they're showing the experimentation and the past of what has led into the film i kind of got into it a little bit because i think i've said it before if not i enjoy conspiracy theories and conspiracy theories used in film i enjoy even more and furthermore i like concepts of using superpowers in a very realistic real world way where people are being hunted because they have these superpowers and where the people are actually harming themselves by using powers because they are still ultimately mortal. How is that affecting your natural body as it is? Especially if the superpower doesn't accommodate your body with changes to adjust to said superpower. So yeah, that part of this movie I actually kind of got into, but it never goes into it to be clear. It's the opening credits, so it's just little flashes of poor video and surveillance and stuff like that. But yeah, that's like the only... <laughs> That's a bad insult right there. The opening credits are the coolest part of this film to me. And I want to see that movie. That would be a cool movie. But Firestarter isn't that movie. And it doesn't use the superpower side of the story to any of its possible advantages. Like this could have been a cool popcorn flick in the least, but no, and it just... It fell apart because I think it tried to focus more on being like a, a family oriented film, not like family friendly film, but like oriented on the idea of family and sticking together, stuff like that, I guess. I don't know. That's kind of the vibe that I was getting from it. And it just completely ruined it. <laughs> but not only did that fall apart, also the pacing fell apart. I swear this is the longest hour and a half that I've ever experienced. Maybe not ever, but it's pretty close. I mean, it's not even one of those slow burn movies, ironically. It's just slow. Like a slow burn film, you know, you have build up and it slowly creeps along, revealing things, building up that tension, and then at the end it boils over. And I can get behind a slow burn film if it's not boring. This doesn't even attempt to be a slow burn. It's trying to keep up with things and move along, just like any other regular film. It's just extremely slow in the process and bores you with every second. Also, the acting. Technically, the main character is the little girl, and I'm not gonna give her too much crap because I don't like giving kid actors too much crap. The way I see it is that kid actors can be hit or miss. They're children. It is what it is. Because they're still young and they're they're trying. So the kid in this film, I will say, she had some scenes where she did some pretty solid work. Other scenes, not so much. Zac Efron, on the other hand, he's a seasoned actor at this point. I've seen a good amount of his work. He released a film earlier this year by the name of Gold. I gushed all over that movie and I thought he did great in it. Where was that in this, Mr. Efron? Similar to the kid, he had his highlights in the film, but 99% of his scenes, pretty disappointing. The rest of the actors, just whatever. Completely forgettable. I'll probably forget they were even in the movie by the time I get this video done. I mean, that's pretty much the movie as a whole. It happened. <laughs> it exists. And that's about it. And I don't really want to talk about it anymore. So yeah, Firestarter, it, it just wasn't good. And uh, if it isn't already clear, I, I do indeed give it a very low rewatch probability. Now it's your turn. Let me know your thoughts on Firestarter in the comments below. If you want to scroll and if you enjoyed this video, consider leaving it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you want to see more like it. But most importantly, thank you for watching and most, most importantly, have a great day.